Well, we learned today that World War II hero Louis Zamperini has died at age 97. A movie about his life is in the works, and he was to have been the Grand Marshal of next year's Rose Parade, which will have the theme, Inspiring Stories. And Zamperini's own story was certainly that, as Chip Reed reports. In the 1930s and 40s, Louis Zamperini was one of the most famous men in America, a national hero in both sports and war. In 1936, he starred at the Olympics in Berlin. In World War II, after his bomber crashed in the Pacific, he floated on a raft for 47 days, fighting off sharks with his bare hands. Close to death, he was captured by the Japanese and spent two years in prison camps where he was singled out for brutal torture because of his hero status back home. But he remained unbroken, the title of his best-selling biography. The house is full of antiques, including me. <laughs> Two years ago, we interviewed the always humble Zamperini for CBS Sunday Morning at his home in California. Do you consider yourself a hero? No, no, no. I, I, I got three purple hearts for what? I, I got all my limbs. I see these guys in a wheelchair with one or two limbs missing. No, those, those guys are your heroes. He told us he had already completed his 84-item bucket list, from climbing glaciers to teaching science. It's a shame to waste a good skateboard. He stopped skateboarding at age 81. There's nothing I think in the world that I haven't done. After a 40-day battle with pneumonia, Zamperini passed away surrounded by his family, who said in a statement, his indomitable courage and fighting spirit were never more apparent than in these last days. Zamperini's life story will be told in the movie Unbroken, directed by Angelina Jolie, scheduled to open in December. He had hoped to live long enough to join Jolie on the red carpet. Chip Reed, CBS News, Washington.